I'm a badass asexual polyhedral dice holder. I'm proud to be. I'm a flying ace and fly through outer space. Hello, sweetie. I'm a badass asexual polyhedral dice holder. I'm proud to be. In whatever sitch, like singing on Twitch, or playing D and D. I'm a badass asexual polyhedral dice holder. You may call me obsessive, but I just border on being a 
AC 15, 30 hit points per inch of toughness. Six inches thick, 100. Okay, you might have more than a few rounds. Each wall panel, each 10 foot section has 180 hit points. Um, regardless, the Chimera begin to charge <laughs> and start fucking slamming at the wall. How high is the wall? Uh, they are 10 feet by 20 feet. Is that all the way to the ceiling? Ten. No. If not, then I would have tried to like put, can I put some on top of like each other since sure. I wasn't using like the full, uh, the full width there. Sure, yeah. Okay. So how high is the ceiling anyway? 30 feet-ish. About five okay. feet short of how tall the uh, Camara are. Okay. I'm going to give everyone Bardic Inspiration. All right. <laughs> I'll got that. Cause I, that'll take three turns, but it sounds like we have that. You should, yeah. In three turns, then symbiotic entity. Uh, what did I? I think I might have done that earlier, actually, because we were wandering through here. I'll uh, put up uh, less as well. Damn, they're rolling pretty good for damage. All right, symbiotic entity, bless. Gonna... Bardic inspirations all around. Everybody, you feel certainly inspired. Let's do uh, the... Guardian of Nature, Great Tree. Get myself some temp HP. Sure. Mason. And once everyone's ready, gonna head towards our opening and start <laughs> gonna whack on the one closest to it. All right. I'm gonna whack on the Chimera Classic. Let's Not go Chimera. Chimera let's go. Limbo. Let's go Classic to start. Chimera Classic. All right. I'm gonna ask you guys to roll initiative. Yep. Piazza. Oops. Uh, that's 14. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? What? Oh, shit. Yeah, we're going in reverse order, apparently. Yeah, I'm Whoa! confused. I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure that can't possibly be an indicator of any. It's fine, right? Yeah. All right. So apparently Bauer is up first in a plot twist no one saw coming. <laughs> uh, Oops. To Never fight mind. the Chimera. They are currently bashing their heads against the wall. One scaly shelled motherfucker bashing his head into it. The other one using its natural weaponry. Oh, 
I feel like I would have moved closer before this round as I saw we were probably fight, yes. So. I will get there. All right. Just for shits and giggles, I'll try to push him over. He is huge. Just as a uh, fair warning. Right. Does that make it impossible or just disadvantage? Just go for it. Straight thing. Follow your dreams. Follow your dream. It's like dreams are real. You managed to knock him prone. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Both of those will hit. That's the Chimera Classic. That is Chimera Classic. Both of those will hit him. All three of those will hit him. Bum, bum, bum. He will make a wisdom save. Take Split a shot. solid... Yeah. Take a solid 10, 20, 32, 35, 36, or 38, 41 damage. All right. Good stuff. You're just going to chill next to him? I mean, might as well. Until it hurts, and then I'll run away. Which I feel like it's going to happen. Maybe. Just maybe. Hey, Sadok. You're up. Yep. I will peek around the corner, and uh, the closest one is prone. Yep. All right, we'll shoot the far one then. All right. You're going for Camara Nuevo. Uh, the 22 will not, none of those will hit. Damn. Really? The big, yep. Wow. wow. The uh, thick armored shell on the back of the Camara Nuevo uh, turns away all three of your shots. Bowser. Well, um, you guys have fun with that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Here, fun. I made him angry for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. I hate it. Alrighty. Good thing they're both going last. <laughs> Sanok <laughs> tried his best. Cristona. All right. Um, so how much... Uh, actually, how much of the wall seems to be, like... How many more hits can it probably take? Um, They're pretty beefy at this point. Probably not too many more. Okay. So I'm actually going to hold off a at least one more round before the... Uh, nature thing because that is also a concentration spell I forgot so instead I'm just going to take a couple uh, swipes at this and then ethereal armor back through the wall uh, okay that's normal so nope uh, 15 will not Whee! Oh, that should be an advantage no prone. because I don't have oh he's prone right Okay, then the first one is a crit. <laughs> cool. I forgot about the prone. No, we have a second one. Mm hmm. So let's see. Where's that? Yes. All right, that will also hit 15, 25, 29, 40, 40. Okay. And then would like to just kind of like use the. Spectral armor to walk kind of to run kind of over here, get a better view of both of these things to just get a feel for 
what they might have ability wise before stepping back through the right. wall. So the Chimera Classic, the one on the right that you just hit, is uh, looks like a pretty classical old Chimera. Mm -hmm. um, dragon head, goat head, um, the whole shimang. Uh, he's got nice wings. You can surmise that he can probably breathe fire. The other one is uh, heavily armored. Um, looks as if he's... Uh, a bit of a brute. Um, he is uh, literally panting gouts of fire. Uh, make a perception check for me. Cool. 13? 14. Cool, cool, cool. Um, you notice that he is also heavily armed with various spikes and horns. All over his body. Angly source, got it. <laughs> yeah, he is a beefy motherfucker. All right, and you step back through. You also Let people know about that. You provoke opportunity attacks from both of them. Mm hmm. Um, we're Disadvantage. classic. Fight at you. Mara Nuevo will also make a bite at you. Or no, he'll make a horn attack at you. Uh, nope. Both of those will miss. Which takes us to Diggeroy. Okay. So. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. Yes. Ooh. Old monster. Okay. Ooh, I, I like it. Old monster. I'm using this sixth level slot to target both of them. <laughs> okay. What are you going for with this? Severely weakened them. Like aged. Elderly. Okay. Is that elder like elder dragon? No, the other kind of elder. As like, in old monster. Back in my day. <laughs> Alright. What would a spell called old monster look like? Like like the aging rain from Death Stranding. I still have not played Death Stranding uh, or watched anything about it. I still continue to know that all there is is Norman Reedus and some sort of fucked up fetus. Funky fetus! Yes. And like something about a big stack of boxes that he carries on his back? I don't know. I Norman Reed ass. Reed There's plenty of Norman Reed ass. Gotcha. Um, and it might be a Mads Mikkelsen I dating feel like sim. Forcibly aging somebody is a con save. Yeah, probably. Yeah. All right. Whoops, that shouldn't be at disadvantage. Uh, but it doesn't matter. So, Camara Nuevo fail. Camara Classic, however, succeeds. Okay. Uh, Diggeroy, roll me a d10 to see how old you make this monster. Hmm. All right. All right, all right, all right. So, the Chimera Classic just kind of shrugs off your spell, Diggeroy. Um, but the uh, big turtly looking motherfucker uh, does not. 
he almost seems to shrivel um, before you. His uh, shell loses some of the luster it once had. Um, his spikes get a little smaller, and you can see parts of them flake off. Um, some of his teeth fall out, and he becomes noticeably more hunched than before. And I'm going to make a couple of adjustments to his to reflect that. Which actually takes us to his... Is that all you want to do, Degore? Yes. All right. Well, congratulations. You've crippled the Camaro Nuevo Yay. that I was so excited for. <laughs> uh, uh, no, that was well done. Mm -hmm. All right. So this takes us to his turn. His movement speed is now 15 feet per round. So while he can move forward to attack Diggeroy, he can't, or to attack Bauer, he can't fucking stop. Motherfucker. First, snap to grip. Yeah, I guess he's just going to walk up to the, up there, and that's all he can do because now his move speed is <laughs> fifteen fucking feet. <laughs> 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 he like roars, but in the middle the of the roar, in the middle of the roar, he like breaks off into a hacking cough, like, like yawn. <laughs> 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 Back in my day, we had to go up the hill two miles both ways to kill adventurers. <laughs> Back in my day, yesterday. <laughs> oh. Don't forget to get off their lawn. <laughs> you can swear that the... Um, you could swear that he fucking shakes his fist at, uh, <laughs> that he shakes his fist at the uh, visible party members. <laughs> um, so the Camaro Nuevo is going to, uh, stand up, and then he's actually going to take flight. And land up and behind um, the classical one. So, Bower Hill provoke from you if you want to take an opportunity attack. Okay, that will hit him. So you get a good gash on his leg as he's flying away, but he uh, manages to get behind the older fella. God. <sighs> uh, best use of it so far. Very good. <laughs> Um, so power. sad he like says uh, no. that <laughs> I kind of am but I'm also kind of like ha hmm. was very creative Bauer 
Bauer, you are up. Guess I'll go to there. All right. You go to there. I don't know what you're planning to do there. Well, that's as far as I can go. That's fair. So you're now into the cave proper. Where the uh, test tube seems a little bit of a bad word to describe them as. Where the jars hold uh, what look like other chimeras who are all staring out from them. All right, and you're just standing, staying there. Yes. All right. Saduk, you are up. All right. Poke around the corner again. Uh, I will go for the classic uh, style. All righty. Also, 21 Last hit. Last one will hit. Cool. And I get one more. All right. That will also hit. Yep. That's a solid... 38. 38 and then uh, I'm going back behind the wall again. All righty. Sounds good. Christona. You're up. Okay. Um, hmm. Gonna look back to Sadok. Are you all right with the wall disappearing? Um, I mean, maybe. <laughs> kind of depends on them. Very well. And just gonna activate the spectral armor. Or no, gonna go probably let me see what the distance is here. Around fifteen. Oh yeah, so I can still get there going around. So just gonna run around smack normally. Alright. Go for it. 24 will hit. 28 will also hit. Then activate the spectral armor. Alrighty. Bum, bum, bum. 28, 30 minutes. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Alrighty. So you smack him twice with your shillele. Um, he looks a little confused as you do. But uh, eventually he gets the spirit of it. Confused because he's old? Yes. He's old okay. and confused now as to what the fuck is going on. Of course. Figroy. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to do this. Alrighty. Ooh. on the other guy should hit both of them. Let's go. Ugh, crap roll. Classic fails. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't have disadvantage on that. So he <laughs> A one. 
One. <laughs> wow. Um. Get wrecked. <laughs> Diggeroy is just killing it. You mean to tell me you've never seen somebody roll a negative three before? <laughs> oh. Not Grandpa Bowser. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, all right. They both take a uh, full thing. Oh, man, you have to have pretty low fucking int hit negative. <laughs> He's sitting on that sweet three intelligence. It's true. I that sounds like a challenge. A <laughs> I have played a character with that. But... I'm pretty <laughs> sure if we drink enough booze, we'll get there. <laughs> Have fun with that! Might not be that dumb, but sometimes we, as players... It's true. <laughs> oh, I don't think you've any, done anything three intelligence worthy. Oh, maybe you have. There was that time you decided to contact that lich. That worked out fine, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah no I stand by that being an no. excellent decision. <laughs> Hashtag dig the less traveled. I mean, Ooh, it led to that out. quote, so it was worth it for that alone. <laughs> 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 All right. Diggeroy, you hit him with the synaptic statics. Old man, um, Chimera. Going to. Uh, Meander his ass forward about 15 feet. And he's going to take a swipe, at, take a couple of swipes at Cortanus. Wait, what? <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Like somebody cast old monster on me. Um. <laughs> That's an oldie. Cristona. <laughs> Cristona. That's the one. <laughs> he will miss all of those, I think, with synaptic static applied. Uh, yeah, if synaptic static is... Well, the first one, maybe, if synaptic static is... First one might hit if he rolls, like... Okay, so yeah, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, cool. So he misses all of his. The Camara Nuevo, or the Camara Classico, on his turn, is going to rear back its dragon head. And bum, ba, dum, ba, dum. this has the wrong range on it because I forgot to change. Uh, the Chimera Classico is going to rear back his head and spit fire all over so it's got it can get both power and uh, Christone on that I believe if it moves itself properly because cones are fucky And how big is the cone? 30 feet. So I need you both to make dexterity saving throws for me, please. Don't suck. How are you? Had one job. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you make me nervous. Stay fright. <laughs> <laughs> well, Christona, you save. Mm hmm. Um, and in this as well, old, uh, old monster has saved you both. Um, as the fire swirls around the, uh, turtly looking chimera, um, you notice that 
some amount of it appears to be getting sucked into him underneath his shell. Um, And a moment after the fire abates around the both of you, another stream of fire emits from the uh, eternal light chimera. You really wanted to hit us with this after we killed the caster, huh? (laughs) It was actually always the plan to have you guys have it as well, if you'll believe me. Um, (laughs) Thankfully, old monster has made it less effective. So, Bauer, take uh, take the 52 from the fire breath and an additional 26 from the... uh, additional goat from the from grandpa bowser uh christona take 52 total so 52 plus 26 she said yep and all that's fire all that's fire damn i was gonna absorb elements but then that that would have been bad uh well it'd still be good no, so, but you know, I, still got that resistance. Yeah, but it's a. F- oh, I guess saying yeah, I wouldn't have. I would have to not hit them. Okay, that's fine. Then yeah, All absorb right. elements. Then I thought it was like continuing until you hit for the first time. Like no, I don't want to hit them <gasps> now. Smack the ground or something. Hmm. I mean, it also just lasts one turn. So if you spend your next turn casting a spell instead, it's fine. Okay. So, to the 52. Okay. Wait, was there some effect I just missed? Oh, no, I used absorb elements, so. Okay. Okay. All right. So, Bauer, you just got fucked up by a fire breath. It does not recharge. Um, so how's Chimera Zero doing? Uh, Chimera Classic is looking pretty rough. He's landed on the ground a little bit back. No, no, um, Chimera Zero. Chimera Nuevo? Chimera, Chimera, not classic. Right. Um, he is. Nobody's really hurt him much. You know, he's looking old and his shell a little bit cracked up, but uh, people haven't hit him nearly as much as they have the uh, other Chimera. The other one's breathing fire on him. <laughs> All right. Pick up a second wind. And go for the class. And then, yeah, I'll just take some swings at it. Alrighty. Let's see. We'll... No, that was four. Sorry. Yep, no worries. They will all hit. Um, 12, 11, 23, 30, 42, 45. He is starting to look real bad, but he is still alive. He's uh, bleeding. One of his, uh, the goat head is looking like it's barely hanging on, but he is still there. Okay, Don't then I'll use my action surge. Real fucking pissed at you. All right, go for it. Follow your fucking dreams. 21 will hit, 31 will hit, 16 will not hit. I'll, I'll use my bark inspiration on that last one. 
go for it. Roll that D10. Uh, 22 will hit him. So that's all of them. Uh, 16, 26, 42, 43, 44. And he is down. Is that before or after the menacing attack? Uh, before the menacing attack. Okay. So you uh, take off the goat head. And then you take off the lion head. And then you take off the dragon head with one last attack. And he slumps to the floor, completely headless. No more fire for you. Mr. Chance to do a zinger, you could have said, you're fired. Uh. <sighs> That's just All depressing right. nowadays. <laughs> Maybe. Only if you uh, let it. <laughs> Well, uh, I guess I shoot the remaining Chimera. All right. See if you can... Well, 28 will hit him. His shell is weakened a little bit, but not that much. Yep. 16, 17, still well, no good. that doesn't help. I got a crit off, is... at least. You sure did. Uh, that's um, it for me. Yeah, he blocks two of your attacks. But one of them sinks true right into his stupid looking old face. He roars at you, but it turns into another coughing fit. And as he roars, you can see that he's uh, now got some uh, loose hanging, wrinkly skin. It looks like. Very weird look on a reptile. Christina, you're up. Uh, yep. So, I'm gonna, since I'm not gonna hit him, uh, or actually, can I just, like, smack the ground for the first attack and get rid of the fire that way? Like, sure. <laughs> sure. I don't want to well, strike this thing with fire. <laughs> Roll an attack against the ground, I guess. Suck it, ground. You hit the ground. <laughs> yep. And then smack him. Somewhere from on high, you hear somebody shouting in encouragement. Yeah! Suck it, ground! <laughs> Just picturing the uh, Lonely Island song. You're right. <laughs> Around ain't a part of your system. I ain't a part of your system. And then spectral armor. That's my turn. All right. So, get him once. And it looks like you've uh, triggered some arthritis in him with that hit, with the uh, necrotic damage from it. Slowly grown mushrooms. <laughs> yeah, he's not looking happy. Alrighty. Digroy, you are up.
I move to there. Okay. And then I cast this on Bower. All right. Bower, your wounds quickly fade from existence as if they were never there in the first place. I right, you. You pick up 27 hit points. Now, the Chimera looks around, sees Cristona closest to him, rears back his head, and spits his own fire breath hmm. out at Cristona in a line. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw for me, please. Absorb elements. <laughs> All right. So you take a grand total of, what is that, eight damage? Yes. Yep. As he uh, goes at you. Mm -hmm. And that is his act. And he does not recharge. Bear! There's an arthritic old lizard doing its best to breathe fire on your buddies. I was, uh, I was there at one point, too. It's okay, bud. <laughs> Here, why don't you let me help you take a seat real quick? Wow. Uh, oh, no, he's old. He's old. <laughs> hey! Ooh, apparently he is that old. He needs the, the hand buzzer. I've fallen and I can't get up. Ooh, <laughs> fuck <Bye>. off. <laughs> okay, bye. No, take a nice nap. <laughs> it's a long string of individual numbers that I didn't want to do. Yeah, that's fair. Don't you're blame looking, me. Uh, your uh, last couple of attacks especially get a nice couple of gouges opened up into his shell. And he's bleeding uh, quite a bit onto the floor as he sits on his ass and ponders his uh, ponders his mistakes. But that's it for me. Alrighty. Sadok, you're up. See if you can hit him more than once. Get in melee range since he's prone. Alright. All right, <laughs> those will hit. The 18 will still not quite connect. How about a 20? 20 is still not quite good enough. Well, 42 at least. They see you went down by three with old monster. All right. <laughs> That's a solid 42. He's looking uh, pretty close to death. And uh, I don't want to provoke, so I guess I'm staying here. Alrighty. Cool, cool, cool. Christone. Ah, smack the ground. 
to get rid of the fire. And then smack an oldie. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Well, you get one hit off on him. No, because the first one was at the ground. Ah, gotcha. To get rid of the absorb. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. You tell the oh well, you tell the ground to suck it once more, but you can't quite manage to hit the old guy. <sighs> Truly, you are the only decent person refusing <laughs> to hit the elderly gentleman before you. Except that other time when I hit it twice. <laughs> <laughs> Survival of the fittest. Six second interval. <laughs> it's true. Speaking of. All right, twenty six will hit him. Throw that in there as well. All right. And second attack. Rats. Oh, you rolled two ones. Wow. I'm a little impressed. <laughs> I've been there a lot lately. I really thought that first one was going to do it. You're going to be really mad when you find out how much health he has left. <laughs> Really mad. <laughs> also, you still have. Oh, right. You, uh. Sudo gave you guys the last. a bonus action. Hold on. You do have a bonus action. Oh! <laughs> I forgot about that. I've been using that this entire time. I'm trying to see if there's a way I can use it. <laughs> For a second, I thought, thought that you were saying you'd forgotten about your bonus action, Flint, and I'm like. Oh no! I forgot about the okay. bless. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I want to want to make a difference here. All I got is bonus action heals. I want that. Shit. Quick, you could heal the old Camara. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't want to do that. Are you sure? Maybe he'll be grateful to you. What was that about you never lying to us again? When did I say that? That doesn't sound like something I'd say. Forget what you t actually said, but you said something earlier and it was like, yeah. I don't know. Can anybody else confirm or deny this? Uh, I'm hearing a distinct lack of uh, no. Lack of I say yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've already admitted you'd be lying. <laughs> this wasn't about us lying. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hold on. About you. I will lie, however much I damn well please. <laughs> Yeah, I got nothing. Damn it. Sadness. Alrighty. Then the Camara is going to... Wow, all four of you are actually in reach of it. I don't know who he would... <sighs> Christona, it is. <laughs> Fight me. <laughs> He'll fight you. He'll <laughs> fight the motherfucking son. I yeah, think that's exactly what's <laughs> happening. <laughs> yep. So he gets a good bite and a claw in on you at least. Mm hmm. They're uh, dulled a little bit. Oh, wait. Bit were those at disadvantage? Age. Are you. Did you spectral? Yeah, I, I, I totally spectral armored. I've been doing that every time. And nothing else to do with my bonus action. Mm 
Okay. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -da. So, bite misses. Horns. Both 28 and a 28 for that second one. For the, uh... Yep. Man. There's a 21. That just hits. All right. So we got a 19 and a 25 for you. Okay. Oh, down. <laughs> that was like by one point. <laughs> Damn it. Alrighty. Christona is down. Bauer. It is your turn. Christona has been down by this old asshole. I will yell words of encouragement to Christona of walk it off and proceed to <laughs> have the old guy sit down. Alrighty, let's see if the old guy can make a fucking strength. I shouldn't take <laughs> this advantage, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> he cannot make a fucking strength check. You are just bullying the elderly. <laughs> I mean, this guy kind of fried me a bit or cooked me a bit earlier, so I don't feel too bad. It's true. Hey! <laughs> um, I mean, how do you want to do this? Yeah! Woo! Yeah, I don't think it needs anything too flourishing, so I'll just go with the straight stab. Alright. You stab through his uh, less armored underbelly. And he uh, falls... To the ground. <laughs> Fuck! <Wow. laughs> Shit! <laughs> but I mean, technically, he's not old enough to be that. a boomer. <laughs> you don't know how at the moment, up. yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is a weird Benjamin Button situation, but. <laughs> I, I just have to point it out, even though it's so hilarious. <laughs> Okay, Bowser. <laughs> oh. So, they're all dead. You're right, right so speaking of... Or Kristona. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, dead already. Stand off, brush off stuff. Use some of the spores to uh, break down these monsters for a bit. <laughs> like tap, go over the other one, tap it. I'm going to take a look at the the eyeballs in the jar. All right. You're the one with the uh, schematics from uh, the Mage's Corpse, right? Uh, yes. All right. So uh, looking at the various eyeballs in jars, you realize that uh, some of them are, in fact, eyeballs in jars. One of them, uh, as you step close to it, emits a uh, feeling of similar feeling to what you would have felt from the beholder you met under the eye of Raja. 
um, but all in all, they are they match up pretty well to uh, some of the specimens described in your uh, in the um, arcane schematics you took from the mage's corpse. Hmm. Start walking up and checking out this table. <laughs> Alrighty. So, you head up and check out the table while uh, Diggeroy is checking the uh, various eyeballs that are in various eyeballs that are in tubes. So yeah, one of them is a behold. One of them looks like it's uh, got some sort of beholder spliced into it. One of them looks like an improved version of the uh, big turtley Camaro that you guys just killed. One of them looks uh, one of them looks like a spider crossed with a wolf. Oh, that's not the kind of wolf spider. No, no. So uh, legs of a spider spliced onto the body of a wolf. Uh, one of them has a dragon. Sorry, a dragon what? One of them has a dragon head attached onto a, uh, attached onto the body of what looks like a goat. Where is he finding all these dragons? <laughs> Like, that's one of the more impressive parts of all this. Good question. So, it doesn't look like a particularly old dragon head. Wasting perfectly good wolves and spiders and dragons <laughs> and deer. And... Well, what color are the dragon heads? Uh, the one on the classic Camaro that you just fought was red. The one that's in the uh, the one that's in the tube is actually gold. So at least one good dragon head, one not so good dragon head. Our point still stands for the <laughs> others. Well, we don't know about their alignments either. We have only met a maybe two asshole deer. The rest are quite pleasant. I'll uh, take your word for it. <sighs> so what do we wish to do with all this? Besides looking at the uh, tubes, destroying. Is there like a kill switch here or something? We can just shut this whole thing down. Make a perception check. No, there is no kill switch. There is no, like, flush switch for any of the pods or anything like that. I mean, we could collapse the entire cavern, right? You sure could. I mean, I think it'd be best to make sure each of the tanks is, you know, dead, dead before we do that. Don't want something 
Surviving and escaping. Fair enough. Could potentially sunbeam them. You could. Uh, who was inspecting her desk? Around here? The desk, yeah. Um, so, sat in the middle of her desk, you find a very large crystal ball. Or in the middle of his desk, you find a very large crystal ball. Um, stuffed in and amongst a wide variety of scrolls and texts. I call attention over to Digger and the others and point it out. Said it was a, uh, sorry, pistol ball. Uh. Thing for me to touch. I'm gonna go with. That's probably a bad idea. But it's so shiny. We do not have means of detection right now. Yeah. Um, yeah, we should probably take it with us until we can examine it magically. Sorry, do none of you have identify? Nope. Nope. Oh, damn. Oh, it would have to be one of my spells known, so. What are you looking for? Identify? Sorry, I it. Identify? I've got it. Okay. Forge you should prepare casters. You should be able to just grab it. Yeah. Well, it's a domain spell for me. Oh, sweet. Yeah, yeah. Druids don't get it. Anyway, identify the ball. I will identify the ball. Alrighty. So you find that it is, in fact, a crystal ball of true seeing. Fancy. So it's about six inches in diameter. While touching it, you can cast Scrying, DC 17 save with it. Um, And while scrying with it, you have true sight with a radius of 120 feet centered on the spell sensor. Does it require attunement? It does. Interesting. Well, anybody feel like becoming magical NSA? Mm. Frankly, it Mm. sounds like up your alley. It's true. So yeah. Yeah. Yes, I can take it. All right. Cool, cool, cool. You also see a um, collection of different spell scrolls and texts scattered across her uh, scattered across his desk. Uh, gather those up for later perusal. Sure. Portable, but uh, recognizable enough to bring back as like proof for the uh, contract. True. From like the uh, Chimera. You can just take a head or two. Okay. 
But if we just stick the heads, how will they know it's from a chimera? We could have just killed a goat and a dragon. <laughs> it's goats true. don't really come in chimera sizes. Normally. You can pick whatever you want for proof. I mean, it could have been a dire goat. <laughs> Stop giving the DM ideas. Yes. <laughs> come on, you think a dire goat is going to be the thing that gives me ideas? Also, I'm pretty sure we've already, like, fought a dire goat in a different campaign. You fought mm. a dire moose at one point. Oh, I know we oh, fought yeah. a dire moose. But when we did the, uh, winter one. Hmm. Which hmm. winter one? You're gonna have to be more specific. Um, I remember playing a furbolg paladin. Oh, That's the ice castle it. one. Yeah. There may have been an oversized goat there, yes. Yeah, because I talked to it. I have, I have uh, no yes. fucking clue what you're talking about. That was when you were on vacation. Oh, oh okay. was that the one Jeff ran? Yeah. That's the one I ran. That gotcha. would make sense. Alrighty. Once people are ready, Kristona is going to kind of glance to one of the tanks and uh, give a look back to people to see if they want them to uh, sunbeam it. Laser beam pew pew through the tanks. <laughs> yes, Moons of Vega, oversized goat. <laughs> Also, I was just reading the description of the scrying spell. We can probably scry a Nolan with this. Hmm? With huh. this uh, ball of true seeing. Yeah. Because I uh, have a pretty good connection to him for various reasons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's true. You do. That is a phrasing that would not be inappropriate for that. <laughs> 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 sure. You could certainly try to scry on him. <laughs> Is that something you'd like to do? I mean, we'd at least have to wait for a short rest so I can attune to this thing. That's fair. If there are no objections, Christina is going to start sunbeaming the uh, tank things in the tanks. Sure. Pew pew. So at least ten pews. No right, less than well, ten pews. You can get ten pews out of a single sunbeam casting as it happens. So uh, yeah, you go ahead and pew pew all the tanks and turn them into... Uh, Melted, basically melted glass. Mostly pooping the things inside them. <laughs> and when that's done, just kind of like scrunch, scrunch her nose in disgust. We would like to leave this place now. Yeah, sounds fair. Okay. Start leaving. <laughs> yep. Set up. It's, it's all kinds of unnatural bullshit. <laughs> oh, yep. All kinds. Unnatural bullshit, right. if you will. <laughs>
Alrighty. So, you guys head out of the uh, cave. There was talk of collapsing it earlier. Is that still something you guys want to try and do? Um... I mean, I could upcast Shatter, and that would usually do a thing, but maybe before we leave the area, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I might need I mean... one more rest because I sunbeamed instead of transport via plants. <laughs> Uh, I forgot about that. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know that we're planning on transporting via plants again. Like, after this, we're trying to go to the capital, right? Yeah. That's I thought this was as close away. as we I wasn't could. sure where yeah. we had to turn in the uh, contract. I think we can do it at any guild. Uh, oh, oh, good. Yeah. Okay. Good. So, yeah, I don't. I don't think we need to do like a long rest or anything. We need to take a short rest if people are hurt, but would not be a bad idea. Yeah, and yeah, I think we should collapse this place so that people don't get to the Chimera shit that we left behind, or the Chimera making shit rather. We would I know like we wrecked it, stole but all the materials from our desk, right? Yeah, because we need that for proof too. Yeah, but I mean, there's still like the equipment. Uh, I know we grabbed as like all the notes we found, but I'm sure there's other shit like hidden away somewhere. We could search for the other shit, <laughs> just to be sure. Or we could just collapse the cave. That too. We are fine with collapsing it. Wait around a bit. Mm -hmm. Figure out where to where to shatter to make the whole thing start falling in on itself. All right, you can certainly try. That might be a lot of shatters, though. Have eight. Are you trying to get the whole complex? Or... Definitely the lab and as much of the rest of the complex as possible. I have an idea. I mm -hmm. could painter's tools up a ton of dynamite. Fuck yeah, do it. <laughs> yeah. That's kind painter's of amazing. A ton of dynamite. What could go wrong? Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. All right. Make me a uh, make me a painter tool check. Int this time. Uh. Intelligence with uh, proficiency. proficiency. Yeah. Uh, doesn't work. That oh. is your proficiency. Okay, good. <laughs> I was trying to see if they would do a d20. My int is zero. Um, I'm going to use inspiration on that. Better? Alrighty. You managed to... Hmm. You managed to make enough black powder to... You know, dynamite specifically doesn't super exist yet. Black powder does. Fair. Um, it's really easy to draw, too. Yes. You managed to uh, get enough stable-ish <laughs> black powder to collapse at least the uh, at least the entrance and specifically the area where the tanks were. 
Cool. Set it up then. Uh, unless anybody else has any clever ideas about how to blow it up, uh, create a trail of black powder from the entrance to the cavern to act as a fuse as well. I do, but it requires more fireball. Hmm. I don't think we have anybody who can fireball. And uh, can only rip apart things through time. A, a little bit more powder outside the entrance to get a fuse. Uh, I have this nifty well. coin. I can start touching things. With no. <laughs> 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 Immediately, no. No. <laughs> um, pondering whether she I used have... it on one of the Camaros back when it was still alive. So I mean, you, have... you can always poke one of the corpses with it. That sounds no. bad. Yeah, idea. no. I, I put a lot of effort into making it old. You will not de-oldify it. Yeah, right. <laughs> I you're just saying mm. you put a lot of effort into making it a corpse. That too. Do I have anything? I'm wondering whether I have anything. Mm. Not at the moment. <laughs> Fireways. Yeah, oh, that if your uh, power can do the uh, honors with his shield. Mm. Also, I figured Bower would like to blow things up. Yes. True. <laughs> <laughs> I shall flibbly gibbet chocolate egg cream. Flibbly <laughs> <laughs> gibbet! Chocolate egg cream! And the uh, cavern goes up in flames with a big fucking boom! The ceiling begins to fall. Half drow covers ears. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> and then we walk away because cool guys don't look at explosions we should too late <laughs> but explosions are fun to look at fun isn't badass only when there's a camera to do the super slow mo on you while you're doing. It. Mm. I'm sure, like I don't know, uh, what's this Zalen or something like that is using some kind of scrying and just getting a really like have a popcorn. <laughs> he doesn't eat, but he has popcorn. That is actually kind of literally falls out the what bottom he of his does. Jaw, but he's <laughs> That's literally what he does some days, yes. <laughs> so we gave him a good show. Maybe he won't uh, mess with our asses for a little while longer. I'm, I'm pretty sure both the explosion and the lich-watching people via scrying are both Order of the stick scenes. Well, probably. <laughs> the explosion, explosion with somebody... Uh, specifically waiting Trained. to walk away from it yes. is absolutely an order of the stick scene. Yes. <laughs> what strike for shits and giggles, I'm pretty sure is as well. I'm pretty sure it's in multiple scenes. So I'm pretty sure it's a recurring thing. <laughs> Old of you to assume that Zalen isn't at least partially based on Zygon. Uh <laughs> It's a good villain to base people off of. Yeah, I agree. Um, yeah. So, cave explodes behind you guys. Um, and you are out. 
with your bloody, bloody chimera proofs. And a whole sack full of books and scrolls taken off of uh, the mage's desk. Hooray! Start heading towards Helgi Domer. <laughs> Alrighty. I guess I should put you guys back on the overworld map. Hilgi Domer country. So it takes you about a day to make your way out of the foot and back to the roads that I totally meant to draw on. This is fine. <laughs> um, that I'm totally not drawing, just as we go. <laughs> uh, no, sir, we didn't see you playing with your layers again. <laughs> Hey man, playing with layers is, sounds kind of dirty when you say it out loud. <laughs> uh, alrighty. So. Bum, 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 ba -da. You guys take a single day to get out of the foothills. Hmm. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a token by the toe. It's Diggeroy. Diggeroy, you're going to be the personification of the party on the map. Okay. I mean, he no, is sort really. of the party leader. As much as you people can be led, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> party leader. master of these cats. Well, you know, cats. <laughs> Yeah, so Diggeroy, you're uh, the symbol of the party on the map. Because hey. why not? Um, Hearing the FF8 overworld theme now. We're all just running behind him in a, in a straight line. <laughs> or Legend of Zelda, okay. <laughs> Alrighty. So you do have a whole whack. Welcome, thank you. Stuff, Welcome back. Um, that you what? recovered from her, uh, from his. Yes. Would you like to attempt to identify any of it? Sure. Once we uh, set up camp for the night. All right. Going through, looking at all. So, you find six scrolls that aren't just sick more or more sick uh, Chimera schematics. Good. So, I'm just going to paste the list in chat. Ooh. 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 You find scrolls of Investiture of Wind. Banishment, Elemental Bane, Augury, and Flesh to Stone and Stone Shape. Like these. <laughs> that spell reversible anyway? Uh, I don't think stone to flesh is a uh, stone to flesh isn't a thing in five. I'm sure it's not, but don't overthink <laughs> it. You can dispel 
flesh to stone. Um, hmm. Oh, <laughs> there you go, Diggeroy. Flesh to stove. <laughs> That'll be a good grammarian oh for God. you. <laughs> I can flesh make a good stove. dinner. Oh, my uh. God. That has all sorts of unfortunate cannibalistic uh, <laughs> possibilities. Um, you also find... You find amongst the uh, books, you find another bag of holding amongst the uh, books. And you also find hidden in among the uh, books that you, I can only assume, just kind of swept off his desk into a, uh, into a sack. You find a strange, thick, leather-bound volume with a desiccated tongue pinned to the front cover. Oh. That seems Doke. like celestial magic. <laughs> Sorry? That seems like celestial magic to me. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> clearly good guy stuff. So Send you straight to heaven. Um... <laughs> <laughs> so, Sadok, if you identify this, sure. Um, you find that it is in fact a tome of the stilled, stilled tongue. tongue. Yay! Looks like shit. Works really well. <laughs> if you're a wizard, which that's none of you true. Are. Damn. It's also, you know, super tied to fucking Vecna. Yeah. <laughs> Nessa had one once. <laughs> oh, that does not sound like a good time. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, Tome of the Still Tongue. Five of them exist. Unclear which one is the original. The cover, the, uh, cover decoration on the first one belonged to a uh, treacherous former servant of Vecna. The tongues pinned to the other four copies come from other spellcasters who cross Vecna. The first few pages of each tome are filled with indecipherable scrolls. The remaining pages are blank and pristine. It requires attunement by a wizard. Right. Well, that's getting put aside so it can be given to the church. Cool. Right. Cool, cool, cool. So the church can pay for it, right? <laughs> sure. But that's definitely not going out to the general public. Not just going to, like, slip that back into the library. No, no, that's fair. All right. Uh, Sadok, are you attuning to the scrying orb? It's the crystal ball, sorry. Uh, Yeah, I'll go and do that. Which means I need to drop something. You don't have to stay attuned to it. You have a long rest. I'm just curious as to whether or not you're actually going to uh, try and scry on Nolan. Uh, hmm. I don't know. What do you guys think? Well, they're one way, right? Uh, Theoretically. Yeah. Theoretically. Perhaps I mean, later... It's not like we're scrying on a 20th level cleric or something. No, you're scrying on a 30th level one. 
<laughs> Good to know. <laughs> <laughs> I told you guys that uh, there are a few people with epic levels, right? Floating around the world a while back. Yeah. You probably did, yeah. Yeah, you did. Yeah. <laughs> We've met more than a couple of them. Oh, yeah, we totally have. Oh, yeah, you've met a few of them. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, who better than <laughs> uh, Nolan to be a uh, hmm. level cleric? How much do I know about scrying, though? Like, if I scried on somebody next to Nolan, but not Nolan himself, would he be able to sense that? Ah... Uh... I recall correctly, there's always a chance of seeing the sensor. Yes. So the sensor is visible to anybody who has true sight or can see invisible things, I think. Something like that. Uh, roll an arcana check. I am not good at these. Yes. Creature that can see invisible objects sees the sensor as a luminous orb about the size of your fist. So from what Sadok remembers, most... Oh, I should check non-detection, actually. That's actually a, a good loophole that I could maybe use in another campaign. Scrying something. Ah, that can't be perceived. Yeah. Can't be perceived through magical scrying sensors. So if he's got something like non-detection on him, he's just invisible to scrying sensors. So you might be able to scry on somebody who you knew was next to him and see the general area and um, see the general area and maybe piece together what he's doing based on how it affects the environment around him. I'm going to ask Ghost Nolan what he thinks. As to whether or not this is a good idea. Elemental bone? What the <laughs> fuck does elemental bone do? You don't want to know. <laughs> no, I don't think I do. Hmm. How much does Nolan know about this? Probably more than you do. Probably. What's... That's not saying much, to be fair. He's proficient in Arcana, but let's go with that. Oh, cool. Um, a lot of a lot of the sort of scrying prevention is just built around making you invisible to being scried on in the first place. A lot of the sort of thing that. Um, scrying is resisted by the unconscious mind, right? The sort of attacks or misleading illusions that you'd put that you would have trigger on a scry, or as I'm trying to think of a better way to put the to put that, yeah, uh, the sort of attacks or illusions you'd have trigger on a scry that you'd manage to defend against would only be triggered if you specifically targeted that unconscious mind. Right. I mean, I guess my point is, or my question is less, uh, you know, would it get resisted or show bad information? Um, because that's not like a terrible outcome, but uh, would he be able to, or would he be likely to see it or retaliate in some way? Does he generally have like true sight going on, or if he doesn't have Other himself, he probably it? has someone nearby who does. That's what I'd do probably what you'd do, too, in his situation. Hmm. 
whether he'd retaliate, I don't know. Well, it seems like it's not worth it quite yet. Well, not unless we have something to, or some need that makes the risk worth it. All right, mm -hmm. follow your dreams. <laughs> well, I guess the other thing is like, um, anytime you use that thing, somebody, or is it only when you use it on somebody with those defenses in play? Automatic defenses would only be triggered if you specifically used it on a person. Right, so if we just wanted to spy on the dog... For some reason, it would just be whatever defenses the dog has. Yes. Or okay. like anyone in the dog, I guess, who had true sight or yeah, something like that. Case. I could just see yeah. that. Yeah. Like, no. So there's like two-ish ways that you can, like, a, there's a few ways you can defend against scrying, ultimately. If we start getting into not totally um, PHP spellcasting. You can have something that something like non-detection that basically makes you just invisible to scrying sensors, or mind blank for that matter, that just makes you invisible to divination. Um, you can have something that triggers specifically um, something like uh, illusion magic that triggers specifically when you're targeted. Um, that will provide, say, a misleading um, scrying image or automatically attack people who try and scry on you. Those will only trigger if you specifically scry on a certain person, though. And then category number three is after you realize you're being scried on, like if you spot a sensor or something, um, then you can start trying to attack whoever's scrying. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. We'll get Elmer for now. Yeah, let's start heading that way. Alrighty, alrighty. So, Doug, what are you doing with the tome? Um, I do want to get the tome of the still tongue. You mean? Yeah. That. Because I assume Sadok has it. Yeah. It's a. Uh... I want a painter's tool up in just a lead box. I shove it in the lead box. A lead box then gets shoved into a bag of holding. Maybe put some chains around it for good measure. Same as legit. All right. So, lead box, chains on it, in the bag of holding. Quality. Alrighty. And then you guys are heading to El Doma. I definitely scaled this map. No, I didn't. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, we'll get there in like two seconds. Three seconds, thank you very much. It's 15 feet, not hey, 10. My <laughs> movement speed is 40. Ugh. I guess you <laughs> get there in two seconds, then fancy pants. This is fine, everything's fine. Leave an extra second for the rest of them. 
Um, <laughs> Plus, I mean, we could all just being... <laughs> Fuck. <sighs> Alrighty. So, you guys proceed along the way. I'm on the road. Um, a couple times a day, you actually pass by, um. Helgedomarin guard patrols on the road. So twice during the first day you're going, you uh, pass by patrols who are just patrolling the road and making sure everything is safe. They uh, give you a quick salute. Uh, but you don't seem to be marauding bandits. And they spy your adventuring pins. So they leave you. Thumbs up. No, no, we're totally legitimately carrying around severed heads. No, so it's fine. <laughs> You're adventurers, <laughs> man. Yeah. In case it's not already clear, adventurers get some slack in this country for being fucking weird. <laughs> we're allowed to be weird. We're weird so they don't have to be. <laughs> exactly. Problem children are encouraged to become adventurers because it's a place where they can be fucking weird without, like, necessarily affecting the rest of society. That should be our party tagline. We're weird, so you don't have to be. But don't adventurers often get involved in shit that does affect everyone else? Mm-hmm. Occasionally, yeah. If they don't die first. But they don't affect it, like, day to day. You feel me? Do I have to? <laughs> I don't really want to picture the logistics of how you would feel me from Texas, so no. You do not. <laughs> All right. So you pass by a couple of patrols first day. Um, Sadok, roll me a D100. Mm. Ooh, Stokes in trouble. Right down the middle. Right down the fucking middle. All right. Things, uh... Things proceed without a hitch on the first day of travel. Hey. On the first day of travel. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Now I want to write that. It'll be terrible, but I may want to do it. <laughs> um. Why do you hate me? I am not the literal worst yet. <laughs> what, what, yeah, I'd have to fight you for it. Talking about? <laughs> what do you now? mean yet? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he has I'm to deal with me twice. I might. <laughs> I'm, I'm not trying to target anybody. I just like Christmas carols. Sue me. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I don't know what to tell you. Um, right. Onward ho. Alright. You proceed onwards down the road. You pass by a small guard outpost on your way in um, towards the city. Uh, Degaroy, roll me a d100. As you continue along the road. Okay. Make a perception check for me, please. All of you. Mm hmm. Uh, 
Oops, shouldn't have been an advantage. Oh no, you only have a 25. Hmm. I'm sure you'll uh, survive. This is fine. Bauer and Diggeroy, you both spot what look like a... It almost looks like a heat distortion. Like you get on paved roads when it's really fucking hot. Only they're Rash. spherical shaped. And they seem to be rising from the ground. Up into the air. It's about uh, 40 feet ahead of you. In the middle of the road. This is new and different, and I am suspicious. <laughs> what? Does that look natural to you? Squint. <laughs> I will answer you this question immediately. No. No, it does not look natural. That's a freebie. You don't have to roll a nature check for that. No. <laughs> so I concur with that assessment. And that bothers me. Not the concurring part, the this thing here being here bothers me. This is like day two, so we had like a long rest. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, because I would like to de detect magic. Yep. Sure is magical. Um, what kind? Excellent question. So, you uh, make an arcana check for me. Humor me for a second. Not my best. Cool. Um, so, you've never seen this before, but it looks like there's some sort of cracks in the ground. Hmm. Um, below where these little distortions are coming from. They're only there um, with your uh, with the tech magic up though. They're not physically there. Um, you spy from the uh, you spy from the distortions themselves the weird mix of the weird blend of schools that uh, you've come to identify as chronomancy from seeing Diggeroy use it. Hmm. Magical fissures. Chronomancy. Rising from the ground. Chronomancy, you say. Looks similar to Diggory's magic. Yes. Yes, it does. Since that's unnatural, is it possible to potentially dispel it? You can certainly try. About how much, like, how big a cross is this if we get, like, any closer? Uh, it'll be about. 30-ish feet across. Spans across the entire road. 
Okay. Um, if nobody's coming down the road otherwise at the time, I'd like to try to dispel it. Sure. Make a dispel magic check. Mm-hmm. Wisdom check. Yeah, I'll say. 19. So, the faint, the distortions vanish from view. The cracks that you see in the uh, roadway, though, are still there. They just don't appear to be spawning any more distortions. For the time being. We'll let everyone know that. I do want to know more, but... Don't really have a way to get more information right now. Do you Should... don't have to take magic, right? I do not. Are you gonna arcana check? With uh, are you proficient? I am not. Okay. I'm thinking about sorry. Um... I'm just jack of all trades. Right. <laughs> Yeah, you, uh, something fucky is going on here with some, with some sort of time magic, but you're not sure what it is. Should we alert the patrols next time we see them? Probably should. We can also attempt to dispel the cracks again, but we are unsure if it will remove them entirely. If you've suppressed it for now when we warn whoever... And someone else with uh, more resources can deal with it. Hmm. How long ago did we see the uh, the last patrol? Uh, an hour or two ago, probably. And how often do we run into one? About twice a day. I remember, does anyone have sending? I do have sending. Maybe send to one of them? Yeah, that should work. All right. What do you say? There's something like a mile marker nearby. Uh, Anything that might be like significant marker of the area. Yeah. Probably a mile marker nearby. Yeah. They seem like the sort of people who would have this. Um, they sure yes, I'll just say we're we're so that. far from such and such mile marker. We found a magical disturbance, and we suppressed it, but we don't know how long it's going to stay suppressed. Right across the road, all the way. You get a response back uh, after a second. Thank you for informing us. We will send a uh, patrol by to check it out with magical assistance uh, in a couple of hours. Okay. They will take care of it. Yeah. Or they'll send somebody who should be able to. I'll give a nod at that and then point back towards 
the city then? Continue? Indeed. All right. So, we continue onwards. Set up a uh, camp for the night. Anybody doing anything in particular? Let me uh, just get this out of the way now. Anybody doing anything in particular while you're overnight, while you're traveling to the capital? I'm going to start going through the uh, Mad Guy's Chimera notes. Right. Just make sure there aren't any plans in there for something totally unlike what we did see. I'd like to absorb the uh, flame tongue hammer into my sword. Sure. Go ahead and absorb it, uh, Bauer. Might. Hmm. Still might, uh. See if there are any animals or plants around to speak with about, like, if they'd seen anything similar to that disturbance otherwise, and if anything strange has been going on on the road along the way. Mm. Okay. Um, make me a perception check to spot any animals you may wish to speak with. Alrighty. Um, so you managed to spot a, uh, you managed to spot a few smaller animals as well as one very large badger who is plenty happy to, uh, stay and chat with you. Estrid Bear. <laughs> Hello there. Hello. Oh. Um probably like offer it some berries or rations or anything like that that she's found I'll uh, yeah. snap it up watch black we were curious if there has been any strange strangeness in the area along the road or otherwise Bubbles, the appearance of the ground changing, unnatural. Well, I saw one about a day that way. Looked like bubbling. One of my buddies went in, he never came back. He just sounded a poke one. Oak bubble. Hmm. Kitty always was a curious one. Which direction was... Is it pointing back towards the one that we saw or elsewhere? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Poked or walked through? He said went inside, but he also said poked. Ah, he just poked one and then it pulled him right in. We saw it. Hopefully we'll be able to make it go away. Anything else like that? I can't say I've seen one, no. Thank you. In a town, much obliged for the berries. That and wander back to the group, and we'll let them know what about the whole poking the bubbles and being sucked in thing, which kind of 
probably get a sense of what that might do given it's chronomancy. Yep. May wish to give well. Hmm. Send again. Uh, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and assume they'll be careful. Just relent to that and <laughs> give a nod. What are you doing, Sadok? Hmm? You doing anything while uh, on the um, trip? Uh, nothing particular. Alrighty. Uh, and then know what those are. Oh, sorry. Asking if Nolan might know what the uh, bubbles could be. Hmm. I can ask him. I don't know. This is particularly his uh, wheelhouse, but we'll see. Uh, bunch of unpleasant things you can do with chronomancy if it's pulling somebody into the effect. Could be sending them forward in time. Could be sending them back. Could be pulling them out of time altogether. Like what they did to Ramus. Not a good sign that's, that that's just appearing. Especially this, especially out here. I will share what he said with Tristone uh, and Degore. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm going through the notes, making sure we didn't miss anything interesting. Right. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Is there anything else in the notes? There is some other stuff in the notes. Diggory, make me a religion check. Okay, 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 okay. Um, so, there's some stuff in his notes. Uh, most of it's still about different kinds of chimera and cobbled together bodies and the like, but there's also mention of... the exact... Uh, it's in another language, but the um, exact translation of it is more or less divine vessel that this guy seemed to be working on. Sorry, say again? There's uh, some notes and some preliminary formula for what seems to be it, for what's labeled as a more or less divine vessel. In his notes. Hmm. Like a chimera they would put a spirit into? More like a body they would be hoping to house a god in. Huh.
That's a thing. Sorry, my roll 20 just dropped me for a second there. So yes, that is a that is a thing that is in his suspicious. <laughs> Anything else? Can you guys still hear me? Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, the only other thing I could think of was potentially commune with nature, but I don't know if that would be able to like detect if chronomancy was like an influence from like a plane, but I guess not. Unless it was like a demi plane out of Ooh. time. Mm. Like powerful, powerful creatures, maybe. You can certainly try. Mm. Definitely want to try. Well, you certainly can. Got three miles worth. All right. Mm -hmm. So, you put your hands to the ground, ex extend your roots into the world, and ba -ba -da -ba -da. what are you asking exactly? Um, let's see about like technically it'd be under the influence from other planes of existence thing, but like the influence of like chronomancy or something like that. Um, Demi plane made by nothing's, Chronomancy. Nothing's. Mm. Mm. This doesn't fit super neatly under any of the categories in communion yeah. with nature. Um, but Chronomancy doesn't no... exist normally. Yes. Um, oops, motherfucker. Uh, There is no influence from other planes as a result from chronomancy. Or there's no active chronomancy spells in the area. Okay. Um powerful celestials, faithings, elementals, undead. Still same celestial influence as before. Okay. You're pretty sure it's from the top of the mountain. Other than mm -hmm. that, nope. Um. Hmm. It's out of curiosity, prevalent peoples, like groups of peoples besides us. Uh, none of them. Where you guys are? Within um, three three miles. It's likely a guard outpost. Probably not within three miles. So, so yeah, nobody. Okay. I'm just let everyone know that. I got. <laughs> I figure we'll get more when we talk to the Adventurers Guild when we get into town.
possibly. Alrighty. So you eventually make your way to the city of Helgidoma over three more days of walking. Bower uh... absorbs the flame hammer. Um, the rest of you look through your notes, keep watch, etc. As you finally come to the mighty black walls of Helgidoma. Um, within the city, you can see uh, guards stationed at, uh, you can see guards stationed at intervals all along the wall. Um, multiple siege weapons stationed atop the wall as well. Um, trebuchets, catapults, a few ballista clearly aimed towards the sky, as well as uh, large magic runes etched into the outside of the walls as well. Um, as you come towards the gate, there are guards standing on either side of an enormous 30-foot wide gate. State your business, please. Reporting to the Adventurers Guild. May we see your pins? Show my pin. Flex off the pin, hold it up. <laughs> All right. Um, they uh, examine each of your pins. And then they uh, make four marks. On One of them makes four marks on a uh, piece of parchment. That's pinned to the, uh, or that's uh, fastened to the side of the gate. All right. You may enter the, uh, you may enter. And instead of opening the gate, he opens a small stone door set into the side of the wall. Okay. Please go through here. I just oh, slewed as uh, she saw the guards do on <laughs> walking by and then keep going. Real quick, where's the Adventures Guild in town? Uh, head up to the third circle. Inside there's... Have you never been to the capital? Have not. Welcome home. Uh, there are six circles of walls within the capital. This is the first. Head up through, if you head up through two more, you'll see signs pointing to the Adventurer's Guild. For now, let's keep walking straight. Follow the road in front of you, that's in front of you as you head out the door. It'll take you to the next road up. And your pin should get you entry at least into the third circle. Okay. All right. So you enter into the lovely capital city of Helgidoma. Proceeding through the first level um, it looks mostly like this is a residential area. Um, so there are several houses around. There are um, what look like some places to get food, um, but primarily it's just residential. There are um, there are children playing in the streets, but mostly the streets are consumed by the same sort of very defined left or left right split um, that you see that you saw in a cranes so you head through you see um, another couple of vendors selling various kinds of pizza as you pass through um, trying to uh, 
they particularly try and catch you guys' attention as you enter, um, note, recognizing you as people who've just entered the city. And what are they selling? Bizarre. <laughs> Do people here only eat that? I was going to ask if this was a pizza economy, based economy. <laughs> Everyone's always on scooters going, chow. <laughs> the European dream. <laughs> <laughs> Man, if you could give me a pizza, or a, not a pizza, if you could give me an economy based on some of the fucking pizza I had in Europe, I would be so down for that. <laughs> what what kind of that toppings do they have on these on this pizza? Um, so there's a couple, there's two different places that catch your eye. One of them claims to be classic pizza, so it has exactly two kinds of pizza. It has one with just some sort of tomato-based sauce on it, and one with cheese on top of the tomato-based sauce, and some basil. And that is mm -hmm. all it has. The other one has many, many more. <laughs> it has, it's the sort of place that has six different kinds of mushrooms for you to try and top your uh, pizza with. It's got six different kinds of mushrooms. It's got two different kinds of lettuce, um, some tomato, onions, um, three different kinds of sausages, uh, some ham, some bacon, even some corn, uh, potatoes. It's just like the Chicago pizza is like a pot. It's like deep dish. It's a casserole. <laughs> Not deep dish. It's more like a New York style one. A little bit thicker crust, a little bit more resilient. Um, ends up a little bit greasier, but, uh, you know, it holds more toppings. I was going to stay away from the slight cannibalism again. <laughs> <laughs> it never turns out well. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. It turns out great. <laughs> Try to beeline for the the Adventurers Guild. All right. Maybe pull like pulling someone away from the multiple mushroom pizza. Does anybody want any pizza? I'll probably grab a slice. All right. You can definitely grab a slice of that good pizza on your way up. All right. But you pass through the second gate. Um, there's more residential around you as you come directly in. Um, however, directly to your left, as you uh, proceed up, there appears to be some sort of auction going on. Across the uh, street from it, there is um, another selection of Pizza places, as well as uh, what looks like a very nice clothing shop. You can see in some alleyways off to the side as well, the uh, orderly lines have broken down a little bit, but they're mostly still present as people walk back and forth through them. Are you proceeding onwards without checking anything out? Mm. I'm inclined to get to the guild so we can get rid of these severed heads. 
That is fair. That is fair. All right. Oozing everywhere. (laughs) You uh, pass through the third wall, and as soon as you do, it appears you've come out into uh, the place where a lot of uh, guild headquarters are. Uh, There's a sign directing you to no less than five different guild headquarters um, as you emerge through the third wall. One of them is indeed the Adventurer's Guild, and it directs you to head down the uh, major street to your left, and sure enough, you see the crossed swords of the Adventurer's Guild poking out from above the crowd. Head of that way. Yep. All right. You join the orderly lines of people as they uh, walk past the guild. You head in to the uh, wooden building that uh, forms the Adventurer's Guild headquarters in Helgi Domer. You walk into a front desk behind which sits a uh, tall, scribish looking fellow. Um, he wears glasses and is scribbling in a ledger as you enter. Oh, you're new. What brings you to the guild hall here? Hold out the contract. Mm-hmm. Ah, contract completion. Excellent. Um, he examines the contract quickly. Chimera extermination. Excellent. Um, do you have proof of uh, completion? Proceed to show him the various severed heads. Heads. Uh, some, some of the... Uh, basically, we have a ton of shit mm. for this. We're overachievers. Eric, he... Uh, just put him on the desk for me, will you? He is still scribbling in his uh, ledger as you uh, pull out your various heads. Try he doesn't to seem to bat in such a way that they don't ooze all over his paperwork. He doesn't bat an eye as you put the heads down on the uh, desk. Hmm. Hmm. A couple of these look nasty. Well done. Uh, What's the reward on the contract? He's still scribbling down proof while also trying to prestidigitate the uh, ooze off of his paperwork (laughs) that has inevitably gotten on some of it. (laughs) What was the reward? Crap. Um. Yeah, I was kind of hoping you wrote it down in your your character sheet notes, but no. Uh. The correct answer is uh, six thousand gold. That. <laughs> He'll uh, spare a second to look at the contract. Always make sure that you remember how much money we promise you. Um, he'll uh, look at the contract. Right. Um, he'll scribble a quick another note and press his pin to it, um, which is the symbol of a feather quill. And it'll burn a little mark into the paper. Take the. You cut out. shit uh it was take this and then nothing oh you missed like two words then okay uh take this up the stairs into the right that's where treasury is they'll pay out to your uh, six thousand gold for this um he uh, opens a stone box next to uh where his scribing station is and just picks up the heads and dumps them in there and then goes back to press the digitating all the ooze off of his desk Anything else you're here for? What is test for gold? Oh. Oh, you're here to test. He looks up suddenly much more interested. Interesting. Well. Go get your money from treasury. Then, uh. 
Well, then you should head in and talk to the guildmaster. He'll... I think we have enough uh, gold members on hand for testing. But he'll know for sure. Look the others in case they have any other questions before we're starting that way. Uh, All right. Um, so he'll gesture to a set of stairs to his right that way and up to, up those stairs and to the right for treasury. And then he'll uh, motion to a set of stairs on his uh, left. Head up that way and uh, knock at the door that says Guildmaster when you'd like to talk to the Guildmaster. Then. All right. So you can head up, grab your uh, gold reward using the receipt the scribe hands you. And they'll, uh, the scribe at the uh, treasury desk excuses himself for a moment, comes back with a uh, very heavy bag full of platinum that he uh, has a little bit of trouble hefting onto the desk for you all. That to Bauer. <laughs> All right. And I think we're going to end off before you guys talk to the Guildmaster. Because that promises to uh, go a little bit. Hey. And I'm tired as fuck. <laughs> you uh, sound it. Fuck. Yeah, I kind of noticed. So, uh, yeah. Someone needs some cat socks in a nap. Yo, that sounds so great right now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 6,000, Bauer. Just for me? Thank you. <laughs> I'm carrying it until we like, separate it. You're being handed 6,000 gold in platinum. Fifty for each of us. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Please try to scry on Nolan. Please <laughs> do it. <laughs> pretty. What's pretty the worst funny. that could happen? <laughs> oh, so many bad things. Please try and do it. <laughs> um. It's. Uh, burning your brains out from the inside times ten? <laughs> At least? Um, There's yeah. D20s and psychic damage. <laughs> Could be worse. Could be a D100. You make it sound like it won't be. <laughs> well, um, but yeah, please try and scry on the epic cleric. <laughs> I promise it won't go badly. Uh, <laughs> it's not the worst person you could choose to scry on. That's fair. <laughs> Damn, I wish I could... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay.
Well, Chad agrees that uh, your sleepy voice is kind of soothing, apparently, David. <laughs> Shit! I got disconnected. How the fuck did I get disconnected from- uh, shit! Hold on. Can anyone hear me? Shit. Well. <laughs> no, it's not that I got kicked from the Discord. That's what happened. Okay. Let me out of the- let me out. What the hell? Oh shit, how? How? It still says I'm in there, but I'm not. Shit. <laughs> Welp. Uh. Well. Welp, it says I'm in the Discord, but I'm not. <laughs> How do I... Oh, good. It wasn't just me. <laughs> it wasn't just me, Chad. It's okay. Well. Well, I guess I'm just... I can't leave it. That's the thing. I left, but it still says I'm in it. And it won't give me the option to leave it because I already left. That's the weird thing. <laughs> I wish, Ronka. I wish. Digoroy gets, uh, gets the inspiration for olding the monsters. Yes, that was really good. Woo! Okay. Well, with that said, uh, I guess that means we're done for the, well, I mean, we were done for the night. That was all I was really waiting for to, to remember for the record, but thank you for hanging out with us tonight. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, well, we'll get back to the, uh, guild. Uh, I guess we're doing a test next week for, uh, getting this gold status for this group so we can get more shit done, but thank you all for hanging out with me tonight. I'll see y'all later. Bye. I'm a bad